Hey everyone, it's Marlene here with Savvy Thoughts at SavvyThoughts.com. So we are going to make a delicious rice recipe. Now this one is actually on a healthier side. It is made with lima beans and also some vegetables. Let me show you how to make it. So guys, as you can see, we are not in our kitchen, but we are in our home studio. So we have been quite busy trying to get everything situated and get everything together for you all for the Haitian Spice that we are launching soon. But please, we would love your support and go to our website at SaveWeThoughts.com so you can get all of the details and also for you to sign up to receive all the news and broadcasting information, launching information that we have, okay? We don't want you to miss out on anything, especially with the holidays coming. This will be a perfect gift for your loved ones. So back to the matter at hand, we are making lima beans and rice in today's video. It's actually a healthy dish. It's a healthy side dish. It's made with frozen lima beans, but you can use um dry lima beans as well. So since we are using frozen lima beans, the cooking technique that's needed for this recipe is really simple. So you want to make sure that you have a medium sized pan available. Okay, for me, I'm using the small Dutch oven. So to make this recipe, we are starting off with by adding our oil into the pan. You want your temperature to be medium high heat. So while your oil come up to temperature, at this time, you want to go ahead and use your mortar and pestle, or if you don't have a mortar and pestle, go ahead and use your uh, food processor or a garlic smasher to smash the garlic. Guys, don't worry. The full recipe is on the website at savvythoughts.com. We have full by step photo guide on how to make it with ease. So next, once the oil comes to temperature, go ahead and transfer your garlic to the oil. Now at this time, you want to make sure that your garlic do not stick to the bottom of the pan. So, so be sure to stir it so that way it does not burn. Next, you want to add your onions. Stir it lightly and allow it to cook for about 45 seconds. Afterwards, add in your half bell peppers. Be sure to chop your bell peppers first. Continue to mix lightly. Then you want to go ahead and add in your lima beans. If you are using frozen lima beans, I recommend that you go ahead and rinse it under cold water. That way it removes any frost or it loosens it up, it thaws it out. But if you are using canned lima beans, go ahead and drain it and rinse it out. So once you've added your lima beans in, allow the lima beans in the mixture to continue to saute for about one to two minutes over medium high heat. Now, while that is going on, go ahead and wash your rice. I like to use jasmine rice, but you can use any long grain rice that you have available, or you can even also use basmati rice. Either way, it's up to you, but be sure to wash it minimum of three times or until the water runs clear. It removes the starch, plus it makes sure that you are cooking with clean ingredients. And when you are washing your rice, be sure to use a strainer. It's very helpful because it minimizes you losing any grains of rice when you are pouring out the water. So the strainer helps to keep it intact. So now, once you're done washing your rice, go ahead and add your rice to the lima beans mixture. Next, add in your seasoning blend. Once you're done, mix it well, then add in the water. For this, we are adding in three cups of water. If you don't want to use water, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. You can use low sodium vegetable broth. Next, add in your herbs, then add in the habanero pepper, or you can use scotch bonnet pepper, but be sure to leave it whole because if you break it, it will release all the heat from the pepper and it will make your rice very spicy. If you have small children, they may not like it so much, but if that's what you're going for, for a spicy rice, then by all means, break it. But we prefer to have the pepper whole just so that the heat is not extracted, but the flavor of the pepper from the outside is being transferred and infused into the rice. 
Next, go ahead and cover with a lid, reduce the heat to medium or medium low and allow it to cook. But when you cover it, be sure to cover it only halfway. Once the liquid has evaporated, then lower the heat to low and cover it completely. The steam will finish cooking the rice. And that's it. Once you're all ready to serve, go ahead and remove the herbs as well as the pepper and serve as a side dish. You can serve it with any protein you like. That's it. Guys, again, the full recipe is on the website at SavyThoughts.com. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining. We are very happy that you are here with us and we look forward to having you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Cheers.